a reading from the first book of Samuel. There was a man of Ramathaim, a Zophite from the highlands of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jeroam, son of Elihu, son of Tofu, son of Zuf, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one called Hannah, the other Peninnah. Peninnah had children, but Hannah had none. Every year, this man used to go up from his town to worship and to sacrifice to Yahweh Sabaoth at Shiloh. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were there as priests of Yahweh. One day, Elkanah offered a sacrifice. Now he used to give portions to Peninnah and to all her sons and daughters. To Hannah, however, he would give only one portion. For although he loved Hannah more, Yahweh had made her barren. Furthermore, her rival would taunt and provoke her because Yahweh had made her womb barren. And this went on year after year. Every time they went up to the temple of Yahweh, she used to taunt her. On that day, she wept and could not eat anything. So her husband, Elkanah, said, Hannah, why are you crying? Why are you not eating anything? Why are you so sad? Am I not more to you than 10 sons. Our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 160. What return can I make to Yahweh for his generosity to me? I shall take up the cup of salvation and call on the name of Yahweh. I shall fulfill my vows to Yahweh, witnessed by all his people. Costly in Yahweh's sight is the death of his faithful. I beg you, Yahweh, I am your servant. I am your servant and my mother was your servant. You've undone my fetters. I shall offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of Yahweh. I shall fulfill my vows to Yahweh, witnessed by all his people. In the courts of the house of Yahweh, in your very heart, Jerusalem. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the gospel from God, saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. As he was walking along by the lake of Galilee, he saw Simon and Simon's brother, Andrew, casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you into fishers of people. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in their boat, mending the nets. At once he called them, and leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the man he employed, they went after him. The Gospel of the Lord.